I just want to give you guys an idea of how I'm going to power my cargo trailer conversion. Uh, right here, I have the Blue Eddy. This is a 3BA uh, power station. It's not only an inverter, but a solar generator. I can hook up my solar panel. I have a uh, solar panel, 100 watt Harbor Freight solar panel that I can recharge this with. Uh, but just to give you an idea of how I'm hooking up the lighting here. Um, I have, this is actually a test 14 gauge cigarette lighter adapter going to my fuse block, to the positive and negative. I actually have a heavy duty 12 gauge wire here that I'm actually going to cut this end off and splice on these uh, wire harness uh, ends onto this to the fuse block. Um, but uh, Right now I'm just doing a test to make sure this all works before I hook it up. I'm using some really light gauge wire here, but I plan on using some marine grade 12 gauge wire here for my DC runs. Um, but just kind of give you an idea of how this works. Um, like I said, I have the cigarette lighter adapter going to the DC fuse block. Uh, this is the negative, this is the positive. And this is where all your positive connections go for your different positive uh, circuit runs. This is the negative side of the fuse block. You can see I got the black negative, the positive coming off the positive with a uh, fuse in there. That's going to my dimmer switch. And uh, right now I'm using these, what they're called a, a WAGO um, wire splice connectors. And you can see the positive is going to the positive, negative is going to the negative to the dimmer switch. And this is the input, this is the output. So just to show you. And then this comes to a three way and comes off that positive, positive, negative, negative. Um, actually, on these puck lights, you can see it has a white and black wire, not red and black, but black and white one is distinctly marked as positive so i have that positive hook up to the positive side the negative hooked up the negative and coming out to the second run of the puck lights and like i said i'm going to do probably about 10 of these in my uh, cargo trailer conversion i'm leaving two of these for uh, spares as backup uh, but it, man does it ever work great and these are really really bright i got these off amazon everything with the fuse block the puck lights and the dimmer switch but you can see how little power that these puck lights use just on two of them is only using two total watts and if i dim these down next to nothing you might see a little flickering on the video uh the flickering of the refresh rate of the puck lights in comparison to the video refresh rate in person i see absolutely no flickering at all but you might see that in the video but with these dimmed down next to nothing like right there it's no joke using very minimal if maybe one watt doesn't even register registers a zero this power station is capable of 268 watt hours and right now with this dimmed down it's gonna last this maxes out at 30 hours so it's probably well over 30 and with this even at full bore at two total watts pushing three it's still 30 so you can see even with this super small solar generator or i just call it a power bank this is gonna be more than capable for what I need for my cargo trailer conversion. And you can see I have other circuit lines open up here and I plan on hooking up my uh, water pump for the sink um, to power that, which this is a 12 volt DC water pump. And I have my accumulation tank here. So when I turn on the faucet here that it's got some water pressure right away and it doesn't have to kick the pump on and off uh, all the time at least enough for a small cargo trailer conversion but yeah so far just testing this out to make sure this works before i hook it all up and put it in the trailer i think this is going to work out really really good